Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and today we're going to uh, continue having fun drawing. Uh, this time we're going to do a cartoon and yes, we're going to start with a very rough, silly looking sketch like this one right here and we're going to move on to create a good looking cat like this one that we finished right here. So get ready. Here we go, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started as like we usually do using uh, geometric shapes, circles, triangles, all kind of shapes all over the place. This is going to be a fun one, so please, please don't feel uh, intimidated by uh, the finished products. I want you to have fun uh, and, and have a good time coming up with your own cartoon good looking cat. So set up with uh, throwing lines, like I said, left and right to make sure that you get those shapes together. And uh, I'm starting off with the uh, circle and the triangles and and this very uh, peculiar face for the cat. And of course, uh, for the body, I, I usually use the, the triangle as well. We have seen this type of uh, initial uh, sketch for the when we did a little cat for the little ones uh, in preschool, uh, this is a little bit more, a little bit more advanced, but I'm sure that you're going to have fun doing it too. So here we go, follow along and enjoy. Moving on from the um, geometric shapes that we usually do, we, we are trying to get into more organic shapes this time and add more curvy lines to uh, the overall uh, subject, in this case the cat that we're trying to do. So in here I realized that uh, the front legs are not going to be very well balanced so I erased a little bit of that and move on to um, Correcting the uh, the angle for for the front legs. So after we do all this part, we're going to eventually move on to coloring your cat. One thing that I like to do sometimes is to erase a little bit of the initial messy sketchy lines that I started off working with to come up with a set of more refined steel maybe sketch lines but a little bit more closer to the final product or the final look that I want to achieve. So as you can see in the background, I have those initial uh, crazy sketch lines that I initially did and on top of those, I'm still adding um, maybe an outline or still sketch lines that are a little bit more precise and a little bit more defined and that's before I get started with the uh, coloring or painting of the subject. For this uh, good looking cat, I decided to go for a more, um, the colors that I use, the color that I use in this case, gray, grayish shade, very close to blue, is, is a little bit more like watercolor. So if you have watercolors handy, feel free to use those, because I try to do a little bit more of a transparent type of strokes and add, of course, a, a little bit more of a fresh look to the uh, subject to the cartoon.
it this is our final product our final cartoon style cat I hope you had a good time following along and by all means try your own designs at home uh, start off with your own sets of sketches for different type of maybe cartoons and different type of animals and pets and once you get to finish it like uh, this one right here you're more than welcome to also use different types of backgrounds for it. I use this color, but you're more than welcome to use any other type of colors you wish and want for your final uh, product, for your final artwork. That's all for today. Thank you so much for following along. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you next time.